first before the internet. So y'all heard it from me first. They got the. Thank What's up, YouTube fam? And I'm back here on another video. Look, I want to start this out by letting y'all know I really appreciate y'all for watching these videos with me on my channel because y'all can easily go somewhere else, but y'all watch them with me on a consistent basis. And I really appreciate y'all for that real talk. But anyways, we're going to jump straight into this whole situation right here. Let's see what's going on with the whole FBG Duck situation. And um, for those who don't know, FBG Duck is a Chicago rapper who got killed last year in the upscale part of Chicago. And they just now allegedly finding his killers. You know, it's five people. I'm gonna put a picture right here so y'all can see who it is. But these people are allegedly connected to Lil Dirk and they trying to get him to Rico. I can already tell what's going on. But uh, yeah, man, the reason why I'm talking about this, because y'all already know I'm not a blogger, man. Y'all be on this news and, and, and his mother, man, just seeing his mother, she really got me involved with this story more than ever. You know, I never seen a mother go so hard like this for their child in the public's eye, especially behind a rapper. So yeah, I'm really tuned in in the whole situation. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and jump straight into this right here. So if you don't wanna hear me talking, all this information is over the news, it's on Instagram, it's on Facebook, it's everywhere. So if you don't wanna hear me talking, you just go straight over there, real talk. But to all my loyal supporters and the people who come over here to watch me and rock with me on a consistent basis, man, all I want y'all to do is hit the like button for me and tell what y'all feel about all this in the comment section. And we're gonna go ahead and watch this, man. I got a storyline of what's going on from when he died to what's going on right now and his mother speaking on the whole situation as well so let's go ahead and check it out <laughs> Video only on two gunfire in the Gold Coast. A Chicago rapper shot to death just steps away from the mag mile. CBS News Jamon Terry live tonight in Northwestern Memorial Hospital. That's where two people are recovering from the shooting tonight. Jamont. Erica and Brad, a man and woman, were seriously injured in this shooting, but their friend, a rising Chicago rapper, did not survive. The bustling shops and shoppers in the Gold Coast caught off guard when chaos broke out on Oak Street off the Mag Mile. I heard like a machine gun going off. Howard Gordon happened to be standing outside his convenience store. That's when those shots echoed. His store surveillance captured the horrific sounds. I knew for sure Damn. this was gunshots. But I had no idea where they were coming from. CPD would later determine someone fired those shots at Chicago rapper FBG Duck. The investigation revealing not one, but two cars involved in his shooting. Four uh, individuals exited those vehicles, two from each vehicle, and began firing. Close to 50 shots fired before the shooters jumped back into their cars, leaving this bloody scene behind. And I saw a black car going very fast west and oak street those bullets killed fbg duck and also injured this woman who police say was with the rapper along with a third man the shooting in the gold coast left so many baffled it was real crazy that that would happen right here in this area out of nowhere it was quiet and peaceful and shopping going on then shots rang out CPD insisting this was not a random crime. The investigation reveals the gunman waited on the rapper and his friends to exit the store before shooting. The rapper died soon later at Northwestern Hospital. The afternoon shooting shook many, but leaves so many to realize the city's gun violence has no zip code. You know, the fact that this is Oak Street doesn't mean that this is a safe haven. And as of tonight, Chicago police do not have anyone in custody. They're hoping to talk to the two people recovering here at Northwestern to help shed some light on the investigation. But they will get some help from the many surveillance cameras that are located in the Gold Coast area. Reporting live outside Northwestern. Oh, thanks, Emily. Five people are now charged with the deadly and blazing Gold Coast shooting of rapper FBG Doc. Let's get details. Nate Rogers is live out the outside New Jersey <laughs> Federal Building to tell us what's happening. Nate? That's right, guys. That press conference just wrapping up within the last couple of hours. The rapper Carlton Weekly, also known as FBG Duck, of course, was killed last year. Law enforcement members say the suspects are allegedly a part of the Old Block Gang. Now, local and federal officials held a press conference just a couple of hours ago announcing the federal indictment. Law enforcement leaders say the Old Block Gang publicly claimed responsibility for the rapper's death and used social media to increase their criminal enterprise. Weekly was shot and killed in broad daylight on August 4th of last year in the city's Gold Coast neighborhood. He had been standing in line at a luxury clothing store before police say four men jumped out of a vehicle and began firing. 
And today's press conference, Superintendent David Brown, as well as other federal officials, says this will serve as notice to gang members that crime will not continue to happen of this kind here in Chicago. Take a listen. We are going after gangs in this city. We are trying to eliminate crime and the fear of crime. That's why we're here today. And this announcement today is just one example of the cooperation and collaboration that holds violent offenders accountable for their actions so that they cannot go on and hurt more people and take away more lives. The man just said this is one example. So y'all already know he finna make this example count. You feel me? And I always wonder when I first started watching the whole Chicago scene, like, damn, they always record everything. They always say what's going on. They always just basically tell on themselves. And it, I be feeling like that they really just doing it because so many people be claiming work that ain't theirs. And what I mean by that, they be saying that they killed the person that they know they didn't kill and stuff like this. So the people who really did it want the, they want all the notoriety and notability to, from killing these people, man. So they want to go ahead and let it be known that we did this and we did that but that's just my thoughts on this shit you know and it's, it's really crazy to do that man but you know being in the streets man they, they got their own rules you feel me so it is what it is and uh yeah like i was saying a while ago they're gonna try to get the rico out to these people man all these people right here from old block that's, that's allegedly where little Lil dirty i'm from you know i'm saying allegedly because i'm not trying to tie nobody into nothing you feel me shit it is what it is they're gonna tie their own self and whatever they're gonna tie their own self into if they are gonna be tied into something you know but uh yeah man just seeing them all being in O Block and Little Dirk is having the success that he's having, man. They want him down, bro. They're not finna just sit there and let him keep on collecting all his bread and feeling like he's giving it back to certain people to do shit like that or whatever the case may be. And really, they just don't like him at all. You know, you can tell, like, she they heard the man right here just saying, we, we we looking for gangs, basically, you know, and they finna start handing out the Rico to everybody. I ain't never seen the Rico being tossed around like this to so many people. And they, it seemed like that any rappers that's having any type of organization going on or some type of structure they really want that shit broken up and they gonna make an example out of whoever you know that's just how i feel about it man yeah for the feds to be involved with this right here bro you better believe man they got some concrete evidence somewhere but yeah for them to think that little dirk is involved with this or whatever the case may be and, and their group is getting hotter and hotter and hotter you know they're gonna really put some money behind this just to bring him down because look how much money they're gonna make off of him going to court and everything you feel me Going to court, getting getting buns and different things like that. That shit can add up and they're going to try to break them. You know, you got to pay lawyers and all that different type of stuff, man. So this is a big fish for them. And it starts at the bottom. You know, they always say, police I always say, that we always go for the small fish so they can lead us to the big fish. And with that being said, bro, he got to be careful with everything that he doing. Even if they not even guilty of anything like that, just being involved with people who are committing crimes, bro, really will bring you down too. So it is what it is. But hey, if we ride together, you my partner, we're going through whatever we go through together. So I can understand that loyalty. He's just not going to put them to the side. It ain't the smart thing to do, but she's, you know, hell, being men and making decisions, we got to do what the hell we want to do. And that's what he choose to do, you know? I won't leave my partners up out like that either. Shit, if we doing something, we're going to do it together. But let's get back into it, man. Now, four more suspects were actually apprehended this morning on the city's south side at 65th and King. The fifth suspect, we're told, had already been behind bars facing charges um, of attempted murder from a case in Dalton. Live at the Dirksen Federal Building, Nate Rogers, Fox 32. Chicago street gang members now facing federal charges in connection with the shooting death of a local rapper downtown. The charges announced today by the U.S. attorney who says social media played a role in this case. Our Patrick Elwood live at the Dirksen Federal <laughs> Building now with the latest. Pat? Racketeering. Ben and Ren, a brazen act of violence that took place on August day in the Gold Coast against a Chicago rapper. And then it was promoted and bragged about on social media. And the feds say it was because of that that helped them make this case. Mm. It was back in August of 2020 that Carlton Weekly, who went by the rapper name FBG Duck, was gunned down in the city's Gold Coast while shopping. A joint task force of law enforcement working together on this one. And today, CPT Superintendent David Brown says this is part of a bigger strategy to thwart gang violence and maximize prison time for those who will be found guilty. We are going after gangs in this city. This includes gang investigations, narcotics investigations, and gun investigations. We are working together to hold gang members accountable 
for violence. Today, five members of a faction of the gangster disciples have been indicted for his murder. This was one of those cases where we were able to bring federal resources to bear to work with the Chicago Police Department to ultimately help us make the case. In announcing the indictments, U.S. Attorney John Lausch says this is a federal case because it falls under federal racketeering organized Ooh, crime please. statutes. Charged are 30-year-old Charles Liggins, 28-year-old Kenneth Roberson, 22-year-old Christopher Thomas, 22-year-old T. Carlos Offord, and 22-year-old Marcus Smart. The indictment alleges the five use social media to brag about their crimes as a way to intimidate rivals and promote their standing within the gang, which operates in the 63rd and King Drive area. And that's crazy. I was just saying this a few seconds ago about how these people be getting online. It ain't just Chicago. It's all over the world here. People will get online and they'll just literally tell everything that they just did. You feel me? Especially speaking on the ops right now. I, mean, I don't know what type of demonic force or spirit or entity that's getting in people right now, possessing them and making them commit these type of crimes and also get online and speak on them the way that they speak on them. You know, it's so much talent being wasted over nothing, man. I swear. I ain't gonna lie, man. We all need to be purified in the mind and the heart and the spirit because we all see this type of shit and we like it too. We like to see the damn beefs the music be fire as hell when they be beefing and everything like that too but you know we got to sit back and think about all of it at the end of the day people be dying all the time behind this man it ain't worth it just for a few minutes i listen to pleasure man ain't what's up man people losing lifelong family members and their kids and stuff so yeah man but let's get back into it but u.s attorney Laos says by using social media in a way they set their own trap there are now five people in custody who were in custody before Five people who were alleged to have committed a murder in broad daylight in the middle of the afternoon in the city of Chicago, okay? And now it's known to them, and it's known to anybody else who might be committing similar acts of brazen violence, right? And who may brag about it or not brag about it, that their day has come. So four out of the five suspects were arrested today. The fifth was already in jail on an unrelated charge. They will be assigned a judge here at the federal Dirksen building in the coming weeks. Reporting from the South Loop, Patrick Hill with WGN News, Ben and Gaynor. Good I'm Erica Sargent. And I'm Brad Edwards, right to breaking news. A major development in the murder of a Chicago rapper gunned down in the middle of the day in the Gold Coast. CBS 2's Stephen Graves is live at FBI headquarters with this big break in the investigation. Stephen. That Erica, that break coming with multiple arrests of gang members. Those who were involved in what the feds say were multiple crimes throughout the city explaining that murder in broad daylight they say was done for a reason. The barrage of gunshots caught on video is hard to forget. The shooting police believe was committed by four people who jumped out of two cars on a busy Gold Coast street traumatized shoppers and killed Chicago rapper FBG Duck in August of killed Chicago rapper FBG Duck in August of last year. Thank you and thank you all for being here. Now more than a year later Chicago police, the FBI and federal prosecutors announcing charges all against five men who they say are all members of the O Block Street Gang. That these five individuals the majority of them picked up Wednesday morning near 63rd and King on Chicago's South Side. The indictment also charges federal prosecutors getting involved because they say the group is responsible for an elaborate string of crimes connected to the shooting. Some involved drug trafficking and violent crimes to protect other members. The murder of rapper FBG Duck, also known as Carlton Weekly, was believed by law enforcement to be one of the acts that helped with, quote, maintaining and increasing positions in O-Block. Prosecutors also used social media and music videos to build a case. They say the men used both to publicly claim acts of violence, taunt rival gangs, and again, improve ranking and status. Chicago police and the feds today saying they hope this speaks to the public and those hoping to commit similar criminal acts. We are serious about our collaboration together the federal partners. There are now five people in custody who were in custody before. And now it's known to them, and it's known to anybody else who might be committing similar acts of brazen violence, right? And who may brag about it or not brag about it, that their day has come. And federal prosecutors did not go into too many details about the arrest, including, say, the rank and file of these members within the gang, they do say they continue to investigate many. He's smiling like a motherfucker. 
<laughs> good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. For those who don't know, this is FBG Duck's mama right here. And good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I uh I got they got them. They got these some of this. They got them, they got them, they got them, they got them, they got them. They got them, and I knew it. And all that shit folks was talking. All y'all shit y'all ass was talking. All you bloggers that think y'all knew what the was going on. Okay? I was right the whole time. I want to appreciate all y'all that um, investigated, that sent me stuff to alert me just to do all type of stuff. I just want to thank y'all so much. I wasn't shut up. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Um, the Fed just called me and told me they arrested Muwap, they arrested C Thing, they arrested um uh two more of five people that they have in custody. The little boy who killed himself August the twenty fourth was one of the shooters that shot my son. They just told me that too. Oh, I'm just so glad. I'm just so glad. I'm just so glad. No, they're not still investigating nothing. It's over with. Now they got to prove they self innocent. They have to prove they self innocent. They have to prove they self innocent. So. I just want to let y'all know this early in the morning. I didn't forget these people already. <laughs> I didn't forget them already. <laughs> and my son was killed by some kids. Like these kids. <laughs> The grown motherfucker sent off like. <laughs> At least they mamas ain't got to bury them, though. They mamas can still see their kids. I can't see my eyes. I can't see my son. <laughs> I'm about to call you Lucy in a minute. Definitely is. Mooak, C Thing, C Murder, whatever the fuck they call them. Uh, no, I, I, baby, what I'm saying, I was, I was able, I was told that I could say it. Then people promised me I would hear about my son killers before the internet. So y'all heard it from me first. They got their ass. They got them. What's happening on social media and what's happening in music videos that are on YouTube, particularly in the drill rap um, genre, um, it shows you what's happening in the city. It shows you exactly what's happening in the city, which is that people are threatening commit to commit acts of violence and then either bragging about acts of violence or talking about how they're going to retaliate for other acts of violence. And it's happening on a regular basis. And so, um, again, that is why it is significant that, um, you know, as law enforcement, we're able to investigate and then ultimately hold people accountable for the acts they're committing. Um, but for instance, you can go on the internet right now, you can see people um, in music videos, guns all over. Yeah, that's the end of the video, man. And uh, honestly, man, he ain't lying. You can go see a video right now with different people reenacting what happened in these damn murders. You know, people can be 
showing you exactly what happened detail for detail they'll give you a full visual of the whole scene that happened a nigga walking up shooting somebody anything like that man they just give it all away and it is what it is you know sometimes i think when you do stuff like that it's meant for you to get caught man i mean you know your time is running up because a lot of people only get, get away with things because shit they lucky you know what i'm saying or god is on their side one or the two or both you know you know either way it go man it ain't right and uh people just need to chill man I understand if you're protecting yourself or, you know, I can understand certain things when it comes to it, you know, but these days, man, it ain't worth all that. Y'all can literally go outside and fight real quick and get it over with. But some stuff be so deep to the point where people can't just go fight. They want to get you gone. You don't ever have to be to the point where you got to go out here and kill each other, man, over this type of shit, man. Somebody say what they said and you say what you said. Y'all go ahead and just fight and get it out the way. But just as going as far as killing each other, shooting each other's girlfriends and possibly shooting kids and anything like that, bro, that shit is over with, man. I mean, it, it just ain't what's up. No. I know it'll never stop, but y'all got to think about everything that y'all do before y'all make a move, man, because it ain't worth it. You know, you know this case right here, man, it's so big and so publicized and, he, and Lil Durk is such a big artist, which is allegedly connected to these people. It's to the point where they're going to investigate everything around him you know what i'm saying because like they promote the old block they promote where they from just like they've been trying to make something out of this whole situation but hell if they innocent shit let them free you know but if they guilty it is what it is they gotta go with their process i'm not wishing jail on nobody and um i'm just thankful that the mama she finally getting her some closure if it is what it is you know i can't be biased in this hell i don't know now one of these people Man, so i'm not finna just sit here and try to convict somebody and say they did this and say that it ain't with their law shit anyway you know i'm gonna let the police do their job and we're just gonna talk about it over here on the channel i just hope that it work out on both sides for everybody and i I did notice that um, they were talking about cameras in this video a while ago. Man, you better believe they put a whole bunch of money into this investigation. They probably got recordings from people who lived in houses to get their video footage. They paid all these different stores and everything because you got to think about how much money they're going to make, make on the back end, you know, actually having court fees, lawyer fees, and all that different type of stuff. So, yeah. And then they're going to try to bring Lil Dirk in and anybody else who's a superstar or having some type of notoriety in the city. That's what Rico's are. You know, they try to bring everybody down. And I'm not wishing this on this man. I don't know what the hell going on, but it's just so obvious of what's happening. The, the way that they just did 6 9 was a prime example of how they're going to try to run it on him, too. Hopefully, man, like I said before, it worked out for everybody on both ends, you know. I don't know how it is gonna be but hell it is what it is i don't wish nothing bad on nobody i mean i wish everybody just didn't get involved with none of this type of shit but it's the way of the world like i always say so it is what it is but i want to know what y'all feel about all this in the comment section man y'all like comment subscribe if you like my commentary if you don't i really do no tripping on it i'll let y'all another video all right